Karen Grete from Scandinavian Today. I'm going to make Danish pastry. Actually, I'm going to make the traditional Danish kringle. And uh, kringle, we always had served at birthday parties in my childhood. First, we would have uh, rolls with butter on them. Then we would have uh, kringle, and then we would have a birthday cake, the Danish birthday cake. So uh, let's start making my kringle. So here you have all the ingredients for my Danish kringle. I have three and a half cup of flour, two third cups of milk, half a cup of heavy cream. I have 12 ounces of butter, a quarter cup of sugar, two eggs. Here is half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one teaspoon of cardamom, and one tablespoon of bread machine yeast. And now I'm mixing it all up. And first I'm going to dissolve the yeast in the milk. Okay, so let's mix it in here. And then I'm going to heat up the heavy cream and add it to the milk and yeast mixture. Okay. I'll just heat it up a little. Not too hot. You don't want it to be too hot. And I'm going to heat it up to approximately 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And I add the heated up cream, heavy cream, to the milk and yeast mixture. Mix it up. Make sure the yeast gets dissolved. And I will leave it for about 10 minutes. Well, I don't know, 5 to 10 minutes should be sufficient. Okay, so I'm adding the eggs to my mixer. This one. And here's the second one. Alright. And I also add the sugar and I'm going to beat it up. the vanilla extract, the cardamom, and half a teaspoon of salt. And I mix it up. And now I'm adding the milk and yeast mixture and mix that up. And I'm beginning to add some of the flour. I take about half of the flour and let the machine mix it. Mix it for two minutes. And I pour the dough out on the table and just knead it just a little bit by hand. Turn it in the flour so there's flour on, on each side. This way it doesn't stick to your hands. And then I just knead it just a little bit. Okay. Seems like it's pretty good. Put it on a plate and I'm going to let it rest for about up to an hour. I would say that should be sufficient. And I'll start working on the butter. So here I put the butter on some flour and sprinkle some flour on the butter. And I'll try to roll it out. And this is uh, came right out of the refrigerator. Okay, so it's kind of hard, but I'll try to roll it out anyway. And I have some more flour. It takes a couple of minutes to do this, but eventually we'll get there. Okay. 
can also do it by hand. It might be easier than with a rolling pin, actually. And then we'll put some more flour on it. Actually, I'm doing it by hand now because it seems like it's easier than with a rolling pin. Just keep adding flour. And I will now mix the filling for the pastry. Here's the sugar, here comes the butter. And here is the almond paste. And then I mix it all up. So it's ready to put inside the dough. And of course, this gives the pastry a delicious uh, filling. in the refrigerator now until I'm ready to use it. And I'm now rolling the dough out and I leave uh, in the center I kind of let it be a little high. I don't roll the, roll the center out. Roll around. Okay. And then I'm going to put the butter filling in the center and cover it up from each side. Okay, so here comes the butter. Here we have the butter mixture. All right, I put it in the center and then I cover it up like that. And I now roll it out. Turn it around. Now I fold it in and I roll it out again. I keep doing this three times and I'm now going to roll out the dough to approximately 30 inches long and add the filling and then I'll shape it into in kringle and do you know that in Denmark the bakeries actually have the shape of a kringle with a little crown on top hanging outside the bakery it's a tradition so let's start shaping the kringle and I bend in the end of the dough. You don't want any of the filling to escape. And then I push it over, fold it over like this, and then squeeze it well together. fine to me and I have to shape my kringle so I add turn in two like this and then put this on top just squeeze it down a little bit and there we have the kringle which goes on my baking sheet and the baking sheet has been sprayed with oil and dusted with flour and here we have it on my baking sheet I'm going to cover it up now going to let it raise for half an hour to an hour. And the topping for my 
kringle is going to be an egg mixed with about one tablespoon of milk. I whip it up and then I'm going to wash it on the kringle. And then here I have about two tablespoons of chopped almonds mixed with pearl sugar, two tablespoons of pearl sugar. I sprinkle the chopped almonds and sugar on top. Gives a nice little touch. And my kringle is ready to go in the oven. The oven is set at 400 and I will check back in half an hour. And you see the kringle in the oven. So it's going to taste good. Well, here you see my finished kringle, and uh, I'm now ready to cut it and taste it. And of course, I like to have it with a cup of coffee. Although at the birthday parties, we always serve hot chocolate with whipped cream on top and kringle, of course. Let's try to have a bite now. So here we're going to have a slice of my Danish kringle. And here you can see the layers and the almond paste inside, which is so delicious. And it's now time to taste my kringle. It has cooled down a little bit. And uh, of course, this tastes great whether you have coffee or hot chocolate or tea. It's nice and crisp on the outside, fluffy inside and also we have an absolutely delicious filling in it so it's really worth the effort making it mm, tastes just the way it should be tasting mm, i love it and uh, hopefully you also enjoy it uh, please subscribe to our channel we appreciate your watching score and i'll see you another day Bye.